going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lord's Mobile video. Welcome to 2019 guys and girls. It's gonna be a good one and I hope you had a good day yesterday for New Year's Day. I decided to take a day off. Why not? <laughs> but I'm back and we're gonna dive straight into this pack review. Now we've got the Lord's Musical which is another new pack that's come to Lord's Mobile and it ties in with the new event that's currently running which we'll also take a quick look at. Um, also guys, I've got a bonus clip for you that's coming at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned. Okay, let's dive into this. So, the Lord's Musical, what have we got? So, we've got some gems, the standard amount that you'd normally get for this kind of pack. We get four Fortune Chests, we get four Chests of Hasty Learning, four Chests of Hasty Coaching. You know, those on their own are pretty cool stuff, I kind of like that. But of course, we also get some other stuff, so we get the Shaman Chest. We get the Saber Fang, we've got Tidal Titan, Bon Appetit, and Queen Bee 20 apiece, which is pretty good. It's not too bad at all. Uh, you get some resources as well, and a green bonus for your guild. So, you know, as far as the contents of the pack go, it's not too bad. Um, I don't think it's the best one I've seen. Like, the, I think the Winter Special, um, or the, the Royal one, the New Year's Eve pack, was pretty good with the 15 Brave Hearts. So, you know, I don't see no Wishing Star chests here. Uh, or any jewels or anything like that. So, I don't think it's the best one. The fortune chest is either hit or miss, really. You're either going to get a couple of rubbish speed ups and some low monster energy, or you might be lucky and get yourself a decent amount of monster energy and some good holy stars, but very, very hit or miss. And I've actually found recently, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but my drop rates on these fortune chests really seems to have gone down a lot lately. Anyway guys, let's get this pack purchased and we'll have a look at the drop rates and see how it's looking. Okay, let's go! Alright then everyone, so we've purchased the first pack and it's an upgradable pack. So you can see straight away, the Lord's Musical is back in the gem store with a $19.99 price tag on it. Before we open up our chests, let's take a look at this pack and see what you get for the increased price. Now one thing I have noticed recently with these new packs that have been coming out over the last couple of weeks, is as they increase, you do get more stuff, but it just feels like the value of what you're getting is starting to diminish. And I'm straight away feeling that on this pack. I really am. Um, for £20, you can get yourself a boot camp, a sweet deal, material madness. It's going to give you so much more content for your account. But let's take a look at it. So we've got 12 fortune chests, 10 and 10 of the hasty chests. We do get 10 champion chests, but again, Drop rate's quite low on those guys. Uh, you can get 10 just from a Bursting with Riches pack for five pounds. So yeah, that's neither here nor there. Uh, going down and taking a look further, you can see we get the same chest as before, but it's increased and we've got the Blackwing chest has shown its face, which is fair enough. And we get 30 of each, so that's pretty good. It's not too bad at all. We do get some extra resources as well, but do I think this is worth the 19.99 price tag? I'm kind of on the fence with this one guys, so I'm gonna take a big pass on this right now Okay, let's dive into my bag and let's take a look at exactly what's going on with the chests We got from the first purchase because you can see I actually got 20 of each chest And it's only 30 for the 20 pound pack so you get an extra 10. I really don't know about that guys That's a bit should be 50 really when you think about it, but there we go Okay guys, let's dive into this so we're gonna start off at the bottom with the shaman chest, let's go in and open 10 of these guys and see what happens. Whoop, not one, we want 10. And we get, well we get an uncommon sacred gem, that's not too bad. It's the voodoo dolls I'm looking for. We get an epic sacred gem, again I don't need those. <laughs> but it is what it is guys. Okay, so we get four of these, let's go ahead and open them up and we get a 15 hour speed up, which is not too bad at all. Not the best drop, but it will do. Hasty learning we get two eight hours. Ugh, okay, so this was not too great at all. We've got the four fortune chests. Let's have a look at these. Actually, that, guys, is not a bad drop at all. I did say you'd either get lucky and get a lot of monster energy or stars or just a few low speed ups. Well, it turns out I've got 120,000, you know, monster energy, which is pretty good stuff. I can go and kill a bunch of monsters with that, so I'm enjoying that one. Uh, moving over to Tidal Titan. Again, we'll do these in tens, guys. Don't expect anything. To get a common pearl like I just did there is pretty good for 20 chests, I have to say. 
open up another 10. Wow, another two common pearls. So three common pearls from 20 chests. Now you can't grumble with that, you really can't. Okay, moving on to the Bon Appetiti chests. We're gonna do 10. We get nothing on the first 10. The second 10, we get nothing on the second 10. Okay, to be expected. Queen Bee chests, you know, at this point I've given up on Queen Bee because I never get anything good. But let's see what happens. So we'll do 10. We get nothing, of course. And the last 10, we get one common Queen Venom. Wow. Whew. That's good for me, guys. That's good for me. <laughs> we do 10 Saber Fang. We get nothing. And we do the last 10. And we get one common Bloodsucker. Okay, so all in all, what did I get for my money there? Not too much. I mean, the best thing that came out of it was the monster energy, if I'm being honest. I got a few speed ups, a couple of common ultra rares, nothing that's really gonna make a massive difference to my account. And all in all, I think that's kind of sets the tone for that pack. It's not bad, it's, but I think if you're gonna spend five pounds or five euros or whatever it is, five dollars, I think there's other places where you can actually put your money that's gonna be better off for you. So what do I give this pack out of 10? I give it a solid six, guys, because it's got some good chests. You might get lucky. It's got some good speed ups in it. And you know, that's, that's, that's always a good thing. So I give it a six out of 10. So guys, why is this pack out right now? It's because there is a special event, which is the New Year's Eve special event that's running to the 9th of January. I'm sure you've already noticed, guys, that there is Phantom Knights spawning all over the map at the moment. And that's the first stage of this event, which runs until the 4th of January. And then the next thing that's gonna happen is one of my favorite things. It's this Trouble Doe monster, the one that came out because of the composer that made the new music for Lords Mobile. And this thing drops gems, holy stars, resources. It's a really, really good one to hunt, guys. So between the 3rd and the 9th, make sure you are hunting these trouble does because you will get a lot of good stuff from them guys and it doesn't cost anything to hunt them as well so definitely definitely do that um, and then we go a bit further down you can see from the fourth to the ninth um your essences are going to transmute into gems which is really really good so get hunting those dark nests and then between the fifth and the sixth it's the New Year Special. So New Year Special, log into the game. During this event, you could win an exclusive Champions Overture music player. Okay, so that's basically like a raffle thing. So nothing too exciting. That's between one out of a million people that could actually win it. But the trouble those that are coming to the map are definitely worth your time to hunt. They really, really are. Okay, so there we go, guys. That's the pack review for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, I have got a bonus clip for you, which is quite funny. So let's jump over to that right now. Okay, guys, it's bonus clip time. We've got 120 million my 83 million kills solo trap that has decided to cap someone in MRR and now wants to sit there and hold it in the hope of more hits. All I will say to that is pick your targets well because you really don't want to be wanting a group hit from the Criminal Alliance. And by holding an MRR leader, that's exactly what he's going to be inviting. <laughs> now this guy's got over 10 million troops. There's T2 in there, there's T1 in there. It's a bit of a beast. And it's going to take some big hits to knock it out. As you can see, he's sitting in his fake war gear now. Nobody has grey gear, unless you don't know what you're doing. And he has that weird sword that you only use in a hyper farm. And it looks like he's in trouble, because we've got Sugar Way walking now, Maracoon's coming in, we've got Norshtef coming in from the top, Romaness is coming. Oh dear. you got some of the bigger players in the kingdom now coming at you, and let's see what happens. So Sugar Way's gonna hit first, we get capped there, wow. And then Norshtef comes in second, Maracoon in third, Looks like Maracoon's gonna walk away. Will he heal in time for Romaness's hit? The answer is no! <laughs> the leaders get released. Sugarway gets his leader back. The leader from MRR starts walking back across the forest and you are on fire. 97 million he dropped to. There's his real war gear. Told you guys. <laughs> and he's on fire. So that's a foul trap attempt for him. He lost a couple of million troops. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. When you're talking about T1, T2, and you're talking about that kind of drop, it's a big ouch. And eventually, as you can see, after Sugar Way goes in again, he shields. He says, I'm out. <laughs> no thanks. I don't want any more of this. And I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It just goes to show 
pick the right targets when it comes to your uh, your trapping, okay? <laughs> I think he did heal back up a little bit after that last little touch from Sugarway there. You can see he went to 107, so he's got some rebuilding to do. Anyway, guys, make sure you hit that sub button and leave a like on this video. And have a great 2019, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, everybody, and peace out.